The question today is are digital angle finders accurate enough to set your table saw to? I recently read an article that questioned using a digital angle finder such as this to set up your table saw because this has a plus or minus accuracy. Uh, I forget what it was. And it, that So I decided to find out if it's, if it's really giving me accurate readings. So what I thought I would do is take my chinois square and check that for 90 degrees. And that would, because this we know is accurate. And if this reads 90 degrees after being set to zero, uh, that, I'm, that I'm pretty confident that I'm getting accurate readings on the, on the blade. So let's turn that on and it's reading 0, 0.0. Make sure the edges are clean. And if I hold this down, and I'm, I'm just trying to hold that up because it's, it's going to slide down. You can see the reading, it's reading 90.0, right there. So the digital gauge is reading perfectly. And if I set the blade to that, make sure it's still zero on the horizontal on the table saw. Put that on the blade and it's reading 90.0. I'm getting a, a perfect reading. And on top of that, if I put the square up against the blade, you could see that between the square and the blade, there's nothing, no light. And of course, I'm careful to have the square between teeth so it doesn't stand off and give me an accurate reading. And you can see on the digital gauge, it's 90 degrees. So in conclusion, I feel 100% confident using my digital angle finder or angle gauge for setting up my table saw. Whether or not yours is as accurate as mine is a different question. I advise you to test it up against an unknown accurate, accurate square and find out. And I want to remind you that I only put up videos when I have something to share and sometimes it's not that often. So thanks for watching.